Would you ever date a married man? Now, no. But have I dated a married man? Yes. How was it? How was it? How was it? Um, it was convenient for me at the time. I was younger and, <laughs> and um, I didn't want a relationship. I wanted a relationship. I wanted the benefits from that type of relationship. But not the problems. But not the problems. I didn't you know, want to wash, clean, and cook, but I wanted the benefits from being in a relationship with a married man, meaning financial benefits. Did you ever get phone calls from the wife and get chased around? I didn't, I didn't. And if she, and if she would have called me, and if she would have called me, I would have acted appropriately. What's appropriate? What is that? Meaning I knew my role. I would have pretended like I don't know what she was talking about. Play dumb. No, Damn. Yeah. Absolutely, because I knew my role. Right. Yeah, I look at it different now because, I mean, that's not what I'm looking for at this point, right? Because it, it was convenient for me at that time because I wanted to still have my own life. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. See, I, all I got to do is please her, treat her right, give her everything that she needs that he can't give her. You know, he's going to give her the, the stability, the kids, wife and kids. You know, I give her the fun time to, to go out and live free. While she still can, even though she still is married, you know? She gets that time away from home. I'm going to give her that. But, like, I did it because I had just left a relationship. So I had just finished a relationship, and it was, um, I was the, the good wife. You know, I cooked, I cleaned, I did everything right, and he still, you know, did me wrong. So I was kind of like, I, I don't want to deal with this. Um, after I, I was, we, were, we weren't together, I was cut off basically, obviously, financially. So I needed the stability I had before, but I didn't want to deal with what I had dealt with before. There was some sort of attraction. He doesn't have to be the most beautiful guy in the world, right? Usually it never happens that way. So if he wasn't attractive, you wouldn't have done that? No, I, there has to be some type of attraction. You have, you know, there's, there has to be something. His eyes. I was going to ask something. that too, but I was going to ask if he didn't have money, would you have been okay with Absolutely it? not. <laughs> yeah. 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 I absolutely yeah. no, no, there are people that are cheaters and they, they're getting nothing out of it but sex. You know what I mean? Her, hers was a goal, like there was a financial goal. I was benefiting off this person, but there are people who cheat. There are broke people who cheat together every day who have no yeah. money <laughs> and they just yeah. cheaters. But don't you think ending up with or dating a married person, you're just like asking for heartbreak? Because you know they're never going to be with you. Well, that, I didn't want to be with you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. What about you? No, I'm, uh, with her, a married woman, she, she's already set with him. I mean, if I was to develop feelings for her, I feel like, yeah, like you said, I would have end up with my heart broken. But as long as, like, she let me know from the jump, like, hey, I'm married. Me and you going to have a good time. We're going to go out. We're going to But how do you know you're going to develop feelings or not? You don't know. How am I know if I'm going to develop feelings? Yeah, you feelings? don't know if you develop feelings for somebody. She, she told me off the rip what time it was. She told me, like, we're, I'm married. Like, this is who I, this is my husband. Yeah, this is who's logic my Logic is different from heart, bro. Logic is different from heart for some people, you know, you got to speak for at, at a certain point just for yourself. For me, I know for a married woman, if she tells me like, hey, I'm married, I'm like, all right, that's fine with me. Like, do you still want to be like, you still want to go have a good time? Yeah. So let's go have a good time. Then that's it. Let's not even worry about so that. Would you be upset if the married person had another side person that wasn't you? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Side, side, side. I see some people get upset. Like, you can mess with your, your, your married person, but you can't mess with somebody else. I'm your side. If she, got, if she got two sides, I'm going to be like, of course, I don't want to mess with her because, like, now it's a whole group now, you know? Like, <laughs> now she got, she got the husband hitting her. She got me hitting her. She got the other side hitting her. Like, I got Tuesday. I got Wednesday. What I got? What day I got? It's a what day I got? You got the weekend, wife. like SZA. <laughs> yeah. Friday and Sunday. But, I mean, if she's still going to splurge on me, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm going to play my part, you know? Like, she's going to say, oh, what you want? You want them new lubes? Yeah, I mean, let's go. Let's go hit the store. You want some Gucci? Oh, so you're willing to accept money from a woman? Yeah, if she yeah, was, that's what she want to, she's married, so, but she want to spend on me. Yeah, I'm not going to say. Hey, I can't you know do what they say? I, can't, I can't do that. You know what they say? You, the best things prideful? in life are free, what, right? You, can't let a woman spend money you don't believe the best uh -huh. things in life are free. You can't let or you, you can say you get what you pay for. Fact of because that's exactly what it is. And that's what keeps coming to the root of this conversation is that everybody keeps coming to money. So Chelsea, do you, do you feel like men are the ones still choosing? Or do you feel like it's like women have flipped the script and now women are doing the choosing of who their partner is going to be? I feel like a lot of women, yes, are. Am I? No. I'm waiting. I am still waiting for that guy to come and save me. And as sad and 
kind of pathetic you, as it sounds. I am still very archaic it's, in my romantic ways. I am. I don't want to. I don't want to say it's pathetic, but I, I I think that women are a little bit disenchanted. I think that we give ourselves up way too fast. Yeah, but women kill chivalry. We do. Women kill chivalry. We do. How so? No, no we do. How so? We, we kill chivalry because. How do we kill chivalry? I'm sorry. Will we I ever to to give you uh, back the flowers you, you give me? In your first relationship. Once Would you I ever give you back the diamond oh, ring? No, we do not kill chivalry. I, I think it's I think a little bit. I think no, so. I think what are you looking at? Kill chivalry. No, no, no. Because do you give every guy that slides into your DM a chance? Or do you only give the guy that you keep? <laughs> you, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. You go on his page, you go on his page, you look at him, and now you're dinner. attracted to him. You're like, now I'll well, give him a chance. Or do you give every guy that DMs you a hey back or a hi back? The whole problem with this conversation is the fact that you feel attracted to. You feel attracted to. You're like, you know what? I can see a future with him. You don't give every guy that hits you up a hi. No, I look, at his, I say, I look at his approach initially because you can tell just by how somebody's speaking to you what they want from you. Yeah, that's true. Like, yo, you got, you look thick in that. That's not a guy that wants a future with you. That's a guy that wants to have sex with you. I have a secret for you. What? <laughs> All men want to have sex with you. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so, do you believe in soulmates? Or do you think people could kind of up and leave you at any time? I'm a realist. I think people could up and leave you at any minute. Mm -hmm. I agree. I don't believe in soulmates at all. It's all that's all movie, Disney stuff. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you don't think like you can see that one person is like like I know she's for me. Like I met her. At, Absolutely. Uh, like she's that one but for that's me. That's not soulmate. That's, that's just, not, just your she, compatibility, your chemistry. She likes all, everything right? you like. You and her got the same exact goals. You guys want to do everything, and like you're like. Yeah, like, this is what I want to do. And you're like, yeah, I want to travel the world as well. And then I want to go here and here. And she's like, yeah, I want to do that. that's chemistry. Exactly. That's not soulmate. That's not just soulmate. God didn't intend that. That's the way I see it. I feel like there's no such thing as just having one soulmate. Like, I feel like there's so many people in this world. I don't think that there's just one person that's like, oh, my God, I met this person. This is who I'm going to be with the yeah. rest of my life. I feel like you can run across somebody that you feel like that. And 10, 10 12 years down the road, you meet somebody else, you know? You so, cheated. No, I did not. I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I have not. Don't do that. Have you ever? Have, have you ever cheated? I personally never cheated. I don't believe yes, in cheating. Not in my life. But you know what? You know what's crazy? Women don't believe that any man. Every, every girl I've come across, and I'm I'm, in, I'm including my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm including my family members, including my female friends. They don't believe that there's a such thing as a woman. Because women. men are more, I feel as though, in a sense, more sexual. So it's like hard to believe that, like, if there's like beautiful women out there, they're not gonna, you know, like see a girl and be like, damn, well, I don't know, I might I cheat. Say, well, like, if a tempting. girl. <laughs> I just well, say, yeah, that's true. But I feel like I can understand why women would feel you, that way. Yeah, you can look at the men, <laughs> but not women. I think it's about knowing yourself. Like, if you're a person that is very selective about the relationships you want to be in, and you wait until you find that compatibility, then nine times out of 10, you found somebody that sexually satisfies you enough that you don't necessarily get that urge as often. Like, of course you're gonna see things that no. you like, no, but you if get you're bored. getting what you need at home. I don't, I don't really 100% agree with that. So, but I also agree you that maybe you've never been totally satisfied by one. Yeah. True. How do, you, how, do you totally how do you how do you get totally satisfied? Right. How do you, what, what's what's totally what's satisfied? What's totally satisfied? Well, why is that like an unbelievable concept? Totally you satisfied. Know, every day, there are people who have been married for years who are committed. So maybe just for you, you haven't found that for you. What but if that, I feel like if they you, settled. People settle every day, but that's still a choice. You still chose to settle with somebody. If DJ is saying he's never cheated, maybe he waited long enough to find a woman that could do what he needed them to do for him so that he didn't have that urge as often as an average man who settles. You still single right now? Yes. I also watch a lot of Pornhub, by the way. Oh, I was waiting for it. I was like, there's got to be another reason. I mean, that's healthy. got to be another reason. <laughs> maybe I think that it's also the length of a relationship, right? So. If, if he's been, I don't know how long your relationships have been, but I don't think that if a guy's been with a girl for a year, he has the need to cheat. I think that it, be, it, it has to do with the length of the relationship because, you know, it's 10 years. Yeah, I think that sometimes, I don't think you've been with anybody Girls, for 10 yeah, years. The length of the relationship, she brought it to dick size. No. <laughs> Depends on the length of the relationship. No, because I think that that has a lot to do with it. I think that, you know, that, that, that that determines whether a man is gonna so, cheat. I don't so think you've had such a long I got a question. I've been in a relationship on okay? and off for eight years, huh? Eight, eight on years? and off. So when you were off, you did go off and do what you wanted, right? Yeah, because I was off. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why he is not considered well, hold on, cheating. So that relationship was eight years on and off, so maybe more like six. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, but I also had a three, year, three and a half year relationship and a two and a half year relationship. And then during those times, you never had an off time? No. 
Okay. Well, he went ballistic and a half year. on his off time. Precisely. Well, probably. I yeah. did. I did yeah, too. So <laughs> then it works. Then that it's not cheating. But then yeah, that's why he didn't have to cheat because it was off times and. He was satisfied that he came back. How, how much of a percentage is sex in a relationship for y'all guys? Because for me, it is. It matters, but it doesn't matter that much to me. I need a, a good sex. If I married the person that gave me the best sex, I'm going to be with some slut in Canada, True. to keep, be completely honest with you. True. <laughs> All right. I say, I say like 70. Like with Indy. Yeah. That's, a lot. That's like more than half the relationship is sex. It is, it is, it is a, little, a little much, but I feel like all right, we could bond on other levels, but come down to where we lay in the same bed. Something's gonna happen if we got that chemistry. You know, do you think sex stops eventually after 10, 15 years, kids, marriage? Start getting, yeah, I, I believe it gets boring. But it so if it's based off of 70% sex, then your relationship's point. already over. But we do the, the other 30 is other activities that we do that, that keep us around. 30%? 30%, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. If I take 30% out of your paycheck, you, you will feel the difference. <laughs> it's, you know, it's acceptable enough to feel a change. I don't necessarily think it's 70-30. Uh, I think it's like 60-40 for me. 60% yeah. we need to have sexual chemistry, but the thing is about it is, we all gonna get old one day. Mm -hmm. right. Your penis is not gonna work the same way. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a platform and collateral in your relationship for a woman to want to be with you, this is not even about your needs, this is about her needs. What if you end up not being able to perform for her after well, a while? Quality over she quantity. needs to want to be with it's, you for more than just that. It's funny, I just had this conversation before I came here. A girl told me that 70, 75%, it has to be sex, right? Mm -hmm. And she's been single a very long time. <laughs> because she keeps getting cheated on. She's worried about just the sex, so she gets digmatized. <laughs> and she's ch she's, no, that's ch she's chasing people just for the dick or right. the sex. And they do her dirty over and over again. And the guys that she's maybe not, like. She's not pleasing I, them the way. Because I personally, no, personally, I can feel like, a, honestly, a rotating door of just feeling like a piece of ass sometimes. You feel like you meet a guy, he, he fucks you, and then he leaves you mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And Have we met? Person, yeah, but then as soon as you fuck them, they go. But how old are you? I'm 26. So who does it, what does it matter? Enjoy it. Yeah. Well, see, this is the thing. In society, we, as women in society, we are brainwashed that the ultimate goal is a relationship and oh, kids. Yeah, because so you play you with Barbie this, dolls and stuff, and you get to no, house. But, it, but even in society. Right, genetically, that. I should have had a baby yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, genetically, you should have a baby when you're 14. <laughs> I feel like girls when they're younger, and no disrespect, because I love women. Okay. They watch the Disney movies, Prince yeah. Charming. The guy comes and saves the day. Yeah, that is oh my God, we're gonna get married by the twenty five. But reality's not like that. When they get yeah. older, they don't go after Prince Charming. They go after the the, the, bad guys. the super bad guys yeah. Yeah, that disrespected them yeah. over and over again and get dick. But then they want the no. bad guys to become the prince. Yep, that's true. I cannot. And understand. then they get angry when the guy doesn't. But become then you the learn prince. that that mentality doesn't work. I could change him. I can make him what no, I want. Because no awesome. man is gonna change unless he wants to change. No woman can change a man. At the end of the day, if a man wants to change, he'll change on his own. You can never force a man, no matter what you do. Women like the man to be the provider. If you guys are roommates, you guys are living together, is it cool for the woman to split the rent? Or yes. split the mortgage? Because some girls feel like the, the, some girls feel like the man's supposed to this pay her. This day and age, yes. Yeah. No. I believe that if you're in a relationship, you it should be 50-50. Yeah, I'm waiting on that answer. She eating her In a relationship, it shouldn't be just the man like paying the bills. If y'all live together, it should be 50-50. Yeah. She pays half, he pays half, and that's how it goes. No, but I think in a relationship, you should want to spoil each other. You should want to give each well, other hold on, hold on. So what will you pay? Are you going to pay the light bill? I'm you taking pay care of my internet? parents. I'm taking care of my parents too, and I'm paying with, our house. With whatever, with whatever I, what you saying that you're taking? Yeah, so, that's so, what you're supposed to do. So me and you are living in the house together, right? Mm -hmm. I'm paying the rent, and I'm taking care of my parents. You're taking care of your parents on on your side. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna pay for in the house? Nothing. Nothing. Oh no. So you, get the, a, so you guys. get the free ride. Yo, but hold on. Oh, what do you mean the free Yo, ride? Yo, I'm taking care of my man. Hold on, hold on. I'm taking care of my Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. She's Hispanic. Hispanic. I'm doing Sexually. everything in the house. I'm doing everything in the house. You're Hispanic, right? Yes. I'm Hispanic. That's Hispanic. 
Thank That's you. not American culture. I don't even think That's it's Hispanic, Hispanic honestly. I think it's about what you're willing to give up and what you're willing to sacrifice. A lot of women who are taken care of dedicate their lives to caring for that particular man. They don't work a regular job. They clean, they cook. So you got to also think about the, statu the statues of limitations between how they live. Now, if I'm a working woman and you're a working man and you don't make that a lot kind of money and we're not on that level where you can provide for me, then realistically we would have to share our expenses. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not working and I stay home and I iron all your clothes before your gigs or when you go out you and, I make, and I make no and I make sure when you want head you want anything I'm there <laughs> when I'm getting on flights to come see you at shows because you just want to see me when a woman is putting that much work in she would feel like she needs to be so taken care of yeah, that is that is that what it's like if I said I need some head right now. Yes. Yeah. You'll just come come do that yes. at any point. At yes. Any point. Girls yes. got to. If you're being supported, Most yes. Most women will do that. <laughs> That's what I do. It's not about what I get. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm always in the mood if I'm being taken care of. I am okay, always in the mood. Yeah. I'm always in the mood if I'm being taken <laughs> care of. That's Hispanic, by the way. That's Hispanic, by the way. What? Because everybody goes through rough patches in their life. What happens mm -hmm. if your man starts to he gets laid off or he doesn't have it for a little while. No, because at that point, I mean, you're going to try to figure this out. You're going to figure, figure, figure this out, out. because at one point, OK, when if it comes when it comes down, he, when you were when he was up, you were together, he was fine. You're not going to leave him because he's down. I mean, I wouldn't. Well, you give Some him a, you give him a time card if, you, if, you, yeah, if he's yeah. being I lazy. Mean, he has to hurry it up. But yeah. Like, during the... <laughs> but, no, no laziness, he's trying, but let's yeah. say a year and a half passes. No, I mean... You out? No, I mean, during that time, we just, there's no Chanel bags for the meantime. So it's on the record that if, if a man takes care of a girl, when he, whenever he snaps his fingers, he gets what he wants. <laughs> Yo, if you're paying rent, you're paying all the bills. Do you text her, when I get home, I want you in a, ma a French maid's outfit. That's fine. I think that's amazing. That's something that's easy. Fine. That's something easy. And if she doesn't do that, are you tight? Yeah, if I come home, all right, so no, like you just said, am I, I'm allowed to get mad if I come home and you're like, oh, well, the kids were doing this. No, 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 I'll take care of the whole house. I told you when I come home, you better be in this. What is this, United Madden? In this. 1955? That's kind of controlling. That's controlling. I gotta ask y'all a question. I'm in the DJ game. I'm in the music game. I feel like there's an unsaid thing, and I just want to know women's opinion. All right? If a dude flies you out to the Bahamas, after you say yes, <laughs> Is that an unsaid contract that we both know that the smashing is going to happen? I don't think because I've heard some crazy stories that girls took the ticket. I don't think it's a contract, but I do. I I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fly out with a guy I just met. Mm -hmm. I I wouldn't do it, you know, because I know that there might be an expectation, you know, and I and I also believe that if you're put in a situation. Whereas the two of you on a deserted island, it's gonna, it's down to to happen. Happen. It's yeah. gonna go down. Yeah. But I don't want it to be like that. If I want to, if I, if I foresee a long-term relationship with him, you know what I mean. If I want something long-term, I'm not gonna go with him. Like I met him, and then next weekend we're going, you we're going away. I don't think so. Hmm? You think it'll fuck it up? Yeah, because you're, you're not getting to know him at this point. I think that it's, it becomes right away it becomes a sexual situation. But otherwise, you're saying at the end of the day, you're saying you know if you go with this dude, you're gonna smash. Yeah, I mean, it could you know it, it's because on his it could mind. happen, and it's on his yeah. mind, and it's on his mind. And you because, know he wants to smash. At yes, least. and yeah. I don't, and I'm not, you know, so, I'm not trying so to be put in that situation. So what if a girl says, I didn't think he was gonna be like that? You, this, should she have already known? Like when he, because when there's girls who will be like, they'll, they'll say, oh, I, I didn't think he was all about sex. Well. You didn't think if he flew you out to the Bahamas, yeah. he was going to want to have sex with you? Yeah. No, I didn't think nice, he was going to want to. Nice scenery. I believe that. No, no. I, I, that's going to be naive. Right? She's lying. I think that's her playing, she's playing dumb. dumb. I think that's she's her playing, playing dumb. Okay. Absolutely. I think it's her playing it dumb. Well, I've heard a lot of girls playing it dumb. <laughs> Taking the free trip and going somewhere else. Catholic girls are the worst. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about something else. My bad. <laughs> what happened? No, we're talking about, she's like, that's a nice Catholic girl. No, like and I went to a Catholic high school. Know. Like, oh, well, I didn't know he would want that for me. Yeah, it's a nice. You know, that's a nice Christian girl. She just didn't know. Yeah, but Catholic girls are not no, nice Christian girls. No, I used to be that naive because I was raised Christian. I yeah. was definitely naive when I was younger. I would think that a guy would would act, like because I had a lot genuinely of, like I had you for the way you are. Friends. Wild, right? Wow. The Wild. gay male wow. friends that I had are not the stereotypical ultra feminine cat. You know, they're like they're not into those mannerisms. They're guys that you would see out with me every day and not know what their sexuality is. So I had friends who I had friends 
fly me to Germany. I've had friends take me on tours. I've had friends do things for me, and I never had to they sleep with them. But they, you no, they were, they, this is what I'm saying, though. No, the but you said they were gay. So. The contrast is, though, <laughs> making that segue into me dating, I was naive when a guy offered to do okay. something nice for me. I Initially, yeah. I did not think he automatically did that he means that he wants to have sex with me that night. I just thought, maybe, not that I'm that dumb, but like maybe I'm actually a decent human being that he wants to spend time with. Excuse me for believing that. It's crazy. But as I got older, I I as I got older and things with monetary value came in, like a trip to the Bahamas to me at 32 is a clear indication that this person wants to take you somewhere else to have sex with you. But somebody at 19 might believe that he's being nice. Oh, oh, being naive. Let's take, let's take the Bahamas out of it. How about going to somebody's hotel room or house at 4 a.m.? You already know that that's what like, oh, oh, Some girls told, I've had girls tell me, I thought that we were just chilling. No, no, no. She's li- wait, hold up, hold up, fellas. I just need to hear this from ladies. They were lying? They were lying. 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 They that his girl, he thought she was good. I don't know if she's good or not. But he said that before they were together, she said she went to the hotel room after the club to hang out with Drake, and they just hung out. Hung out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's fronting. She's fronting. Is there any request that you will say no to in bed if your man acts? I, I don't do butt stuff. I don't do it. I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm being completely honest. I don't do it. No, I don't. You never tried. I, I don't. I, I don't do it. I've never. I, it's just not my thing. I don't do it. Sorry. I don't. It's not. It's not my thing. You tried to throw in there. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, do you want me to put something up your asshole? Because no, I don't want anything up my asshole. Just maybe. maybe. Uh, like, I, I just, it doesn't Chelsea, seem like a Chelsea, mutually Chelsea, beneficial experience. Chelsea, yes. What if that's your husband? Like, this is the man you're with forever. So she's he's got to get used to not having anal. So like, hold up. But she's you're not married, yeah. But so you're not maybe. married. So, I mean, you don't, I saw. Uh, what do you ask? So, but if you're married, this is, you're going to be with forever. And he's asking, I just, I just want this. One time. I just need this. One time. One time, you gonna tell him no? I think you will. One time, one time. Honeymoon anal, anal might happen. Oh. Honeymoon anal, oh. maybe. Just a little thumb. But that's Yo, but it. But that's it, right? Time, Just a little. It's not gonna be one time. <laughs> if he likes it, it's not gonna be one time. It's gonna be a lot of lubrication. If you can do it once, you can do it again. Yeah, that's what he's gonna say. That's what he's gonna say. That's what I was saying. Once he does it once, then he's gonna want it forever. She might get it once and be like, I thought I didn't like this shit. I want yeah. this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is the yeah. thing. Yeah. gonna be like this. Two time. You know that name? Me? I could, I could never do that. Sorry, I, I'm not eating ass. I'm not going next to your ass. I'm not eating pussy. I'm not doing oh, that. You crazy? Yeah. You talking about that? He's not eating pussy. You said you eat ass. You don't eat pussy, you're not gonna be with a girl I for love, girls in five days. That's, that's not true. I've actually had females in the past. I promise you. I promise, you promise what? You what you promise? Somebody's eating it. Yes, exactly. Eating what? If you're not eating what? We ain't talking about the chicken. No. <laughs> Somebody's eating it, honey. Yes. He, could, so he could eat it. I'm so you, it. do you expect head? I do not expect head. No, so you don't care man, for head? I do not care for it. That's why you don't care to give it, because you don't care why for Why would head. I ask for something and, and, and... But if, let's say, you love her and she wants head, Sorry. How old you? Yo, I'm 21. Oh, yeah, no. I, no. Said, I, said, I said that at 21. Age don't mean... Why, what, so what, does, what does age mean, though? Oh, my God. It means, it means, it means you switch it up. It means you switch it up. Wait, pause, pause, so, so. And you switch Give an oral or receive an oral makes sex a good, a great time? Yes. You, you can, you can, so you're saying without, without getting ahead or giving ahead, you can have a great sex. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can't smash what's on your head. It's not fucking sex, bro. That's me. Y'all didn't hear what she just said. What'd she say? Wait, hold on, stop. No, 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 y'all didn't hear what she just said. Chelsea. Repeat what you just said, Chelsea. All I said was, honey, I've even done it. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, get off of it. Wait, wait. Do you have a female? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you say? Yeah, pussy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, come on. He don't want to do it like, like once in a blue moon is okay for him. It's just not his preference. But if you do it once I'm in a blue moon, you suck at it. it. I'm, you you got to practice. It's like playing soccer. You're selfish. You're selfish. Yeah. You're selfish. I'm not asking for head in return. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to give me a head. 
suck my toes. Do all, I'm not asking for none of that. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, you know, you know, you, oral, oral is about pleasing someone else. You're sex trying is to about make. But listen, no, no, sex no, it's not. Sex, sex is, you're, you're getting pleasure. You're, you're getting you're pleased. Doing her you're getting pleased. When you're giving oral, oral, when you're giving oral, no, when you're giving exactly, when you're giving oral is about. It's a hundred You get pleasure. You it's a hundred percent you give. You give exactly. Like you you get gift. pleasure from pleasing someone else. So guys, I mean, being that we're in 2018 and we're all evolved so-called sexually. Do you think threesomes is like a regular household thing or do you think it's still taboo? I think eventually you should have one. I mean, like if, if I'm with you for 10 years and we, and I, it's just you, I mean, I'm a, just speaking for myself, I can't speak for everybody, but I know like eventually I, I'm going to want something But if something you're in a relationship, so man, let's, you're asking Let's do it trouble. together. Let's do it together. Why me go cheat? Let's just have it together one time and then push that well, out the way. Girls don't think that, that way. Yes. Girls don't. Do. If she, I mean, that all comes down to you now as, as, as a man, though, because if, if you're like, all right, it's a, that's, a, that's a deal right there. Let's have your threesome first, and then we'll have my threesome. Are you okay with that? I'm asking you. If you, she says, let's, you can pick, you can pick the girl. You can go hand select the girl who's going, who, who we going to do it with. And then I get to go hand select the guy who we go do it with. Are you going to compromise that deal? Or are you going to say, nah, just forget the whole entire thing? Forget it. Or, yeah, for me it's forget it. Forget it. I'm not having sex with another dude. I'm not gonna watch another dude. Bang I'm not. Ex that's what I'm. That's exactly what I I'm said. Not gonna, I'm you. gonna punch that dude in the face. So, question: You're okay with like you and your homeboy can go like have a threesome with another girl? When I say threesome, I mean like you and your homeboy go run a you know go run a train on a girl, but you won't cuff her. Right. But if your girl asks you, yo, can can you, I? You get, heard that, right? Can I your, get your girl, my girl. It's your girl. That's different. She comes home to me. She comes home. I'm not gonna have me and my man hit my girl. Wait, wait. What if it's not your man? Wait. What if it's a dude from out of state? Wait. Out of state. No man. Never see him no, again. No other guy. I gotta be the only man participating. Two girls on a train, though. That's a train. That's a threesome. That's a limousine. That's a threesome. That's a threesome. <laughs> That's a, a threesome. That's a limousine. A train like <laughs> he said that's a limousine. <laughs> he said that's an Uber pool. Uber ride. Uber ride. Yo, that's a meal ride. <laughs> I can't. I can't be in the same room seeing my girl Which I take mean. something else from another. But, you, but she can be in the same no. room and watch you get sucked off by another girl. Yeah. Yeah. That wow. sounds fair. That don't sound like a double standard. Wait, wait, wait. I, let me clear it up. Let it's me, different. Up, it's something. different. Let me say something. <laughs> There are double standards that exist that I don't Absolutely. know. Like right now, she could touch her breast and say, "Girl, your tits are getting big." You touch his. That's sexual harassment. Nah. Yeah. That's different. No, no, no. But with that being said, unless you go that way, another man being in the room, it might not be as comfortable for him as. Right, girl. But girls can walk around all day showing their tits. I can't show my dick. You can show like with a low thing. You just get arrested. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> but it, you know, if you walk around showing your boobs, it's all good. I can't like. Kind of wear tight pants and show my package, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Well, at the end of the day, yeah, I gotta be the only man present. I'm sorry, I, that's that's how I feel. No, but you can I gotta walk be the around only the street in like a what, what's that? A crop top. A crop yeah. But but if I walk around the street in my boxers, it's a problem. They are gonna say, hey, you need to go put some clothes on. Not unless you if you packing, it's not a problem. <laughs> if I'm packing, the police gonna say something. The cops not gonna say, oh, you got a no, big you one. You got a concealed weapon. <laughs> Eighty inches are better. You're good. <laughs>